Okay, so you know, let me let me put up another image <laughs> for a discussion if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Please don't please don't tell me it's the you know what, I'm not even gonna give you ideas. Go ahead. It's not the cursed emoji, <laughs> trust me. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How does this contribute exactly? A wildlife. But that's funny. <laughs> Are you being discriminatory towards wildlife? That's clearly not wildlife. That's clearly someone's backyard. <laughs> How do you know that? Because only in such a controlled environment would this creature let the photographer, you know, live, right? <laughs> Out in the wild, the stuff, you know, the person t take with the camera taking the photo is going to get absorbed. Their soul gets sacrificed, right? And their footage just gets eaten. But how do you explain all those National Geographic videos of people in the rainforest? Or the, or, or Dressing like, up with pandas? <laughs> no, 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 like, have you ever seen a documentary of, like, National Geographic? Um, Yes. I think. <laughs> they always, like, record predator or, like, some sort of predator mauling a prey. For example, a brown bear just, yeah. like, completely demolishing an antelope. And I'm thinking, if photographers can get that close of shots to bears, what's stopping them from getting close shots of pandas like because that? Bears, <laughs> bears are normal creatures, all right? Whatever <laughs> abomination you have sent to this track... <laughs> It's not at all a normal creature. I dare <laughs> say it's not even a mortal creature. Why would you I, say that? It's so mean. I might go as far to say as that. Is a wait, wait a minute. Is that Satan? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? You're hurting the panda's feelings. So Satan. That is the farthest thing from a panda I have seen in years. Well, why, why are you guys like this? This is so mean. Bro, the moment you said restaurant, I just immediately thought of blueberry ketchup. Because <laughs> you're on house. <sighs> <sighs> I never even tried it, and it still haunts me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nothing special. I mean, I was kind of cut blueberry off. Blueberry ketchup, are you sure about that? I mean, the taste. The taste. It's, it's kind of sweet. It tastes a bit like blueberry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last night, right? I had like the heart of a black dragon. Just I ate it raw. It was nothing special, you know. It, Wait, was, it was just okay. Yeah, I, I just had like a <laughs> dragon heart, and it was it was you know, it was not raw because like the taste wasn't anything out of the ordinary. That means the food itself is completely normal as well. Uh, that's what I like to tell the people who arrested me two minutes later. <laughs> I yeah, just your sarcasm to like a couple <laughs> seconds later. <laughs> Mm, yes. <laughs> Black My dragon favorite heart. type of dragon food. Dude, I honestly thought you were talking about like some kind of fruit. I was like, oh, okay. Odd flex. <laughs> mm, yes, my favorite fruit that has a heart. Because, you know, there's dragon fruit and then there's a. Uh, I, I did what? say the heart of a dragon, though. I don't, know, I don't know if that raised any red flags for you. <laughs> I think that, it looks like Logan. Oh, you mean Lon Yin? Uh. Lo, uh, Lon Yin? I don't know, maybe you pronounce it differently, but that's all. Because I was like, Logan, that sounds like a human name. What the hell? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, it looks so good. It looks like Jessica. She just had that for dinner last night. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, never mind. <laughs> I've never had this, never mind. It looks like Logan. The, I presume a non-human. No, yeah, that's not the non-human fruit.